Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a September bonus reading for the sign of Aries. Please keep in mind that it's a general read, it will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please make sure to check your other placements, crosswatch or check back again. Now let's see what are the energies for Aries. How Aries is viewing their person and situation. What is in Aries' mind space, please? Let's see. You have the Empress, the Five of Wands, and the Sun. Right. Interesting Aries. <coughs> Sorry, with the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and the star at the bottom of the deck here, I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting for something to um, to come to fruition in a certain situation, right? Uh, this situation with the star here could be dealing with Aquarius. Also, I have Libra here, Taurus, Leo. The situation seems to me like a dream come true, right? This relationship is a dream come true to you. With the Seven of Wands, I feel like there is probably... <clears throat> it's like you're feeling that you need to fight for it in some shape or form. Right? This could be, with the Five of Wands here on your side, this could be some kind of like internal... <clears throat> sorry, I can't, I can't talk. This could be some kind of internal fight. Uh, could be for some of you that you have to actually defend your position uh, maybe in front of your friends, family, society, whatever that might be. Uh, but the thing is that I feel like with the Sun and the Empress here, the overall, what, whatever obstacles you may uh, encounter on your way right now, it makes you empowered, it makes you feel happy. This relationship makes you feel happy and empowered and uh, creative and you want to grow within this relationship and all that's good all that good things right uh, let's see how this person is viewing their connection with Aries at this time what is in this person's mind space please let's see we have ten, ten of Pentacles We have Chariot, we have the Two of Swords here. With the Chariot, uh, Cancerian energy could be dealing with Cancer. Maybe you have a uh, heavy Cancer placement in your chart. Look at this. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups, the World, and the Empress here on their side too, they do realize that this, uh, this connection is very, is very fulfilling for them. Right? They do love you, definitely. They do want some kind of a new beginning for you. If there was some kind of breakup or separation or just any kind of falling out, they do want this with you. Right? They do want to open a new cycle with you here. Uh, I feel like also, for, for some of you, this could be a family situation. You could be married to this person or uh, you could, it could be that you are in a, a committed relationship with this person. Right? Uh, overall, I feel like they would like to move forward uh, in the situation. They would like to build something long-term with you, definitely. But with the Two of Swords here, I feel like they maybe are not sure how to make it, right? The situation, of course, will be different for all of you. But this, this could be that there was some kind of... Uh, something happened between the two of you and... It keeps this person a little bit up in their head. They are a little bit confused as in how to move forward with this situation. But overall, overall, definitely I do see that uh, they, feel, they feel like you feel about this relationship. Right? They do see that there is growth here, that there is happiness here, definitely. Uh, let's see uh, how Aries feels about this person. Or situation what's in their heart space please we have the four of swords we have strength 
and we have the Hierophant. <clears throat> Taurus, uh, energy, Leo energy here heavily, right? Yeah, look at this. With the, uh, with the King of Cups, Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles and the Moon here at the bottom of the deck on your side, I do feel like you guys are feel uh, I, it feels to me like exactly the same way about each other. You want stability with them. You want this commitment with them. I see you holding back a little bit, just a little bit, with this um, Four of Swords and the strength here. It feels to me that this is it, it is not because you don't love this person or you don't want it with them. You definitely do. You feel very connected to this person. You feel and you know that they love you too. You know this, right? Um, it feels to me like you are just taking, you're just taking a little bit of time, maybe to uh, to contemplate on on the situation, whatever is happening between the two of you. You are not rushing things. That's what that's what I see definitely. Definitely, you are you are willing to have something stable, something long term with this person. You feel like they are very stable person. Also, you're just not rushing it. I see you. Probably because of this five of ones, there's like some kind of internal or external uh, conflict around this. This situation that you have could be people talking, gossiping, could be, it could be internal. I'm picking up on the internal, uh, like, not even conflict, but there, is, there are some things that you have to settle within yourself. Let's see how this person feels. We have the nine of ones, we have the sun. And we have the Queen of Wands. Well, they do see you as their happiness. They do. Yeah, look at this. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, Five of Cups, and Ten of Cups here at the bottom of the deck on this person's side, they are very passionate about you, right? And they do see they are happily ever after with you. But with the Five of Cups, definitely they are going through some kind of regret here, right? through some kind of grief. They're still grieving the situation a little bit. Whatever it was, it will be different for all of you. The cards are not telling me what happened. But I feel like this person feels at this time that they have to defend their happiness somehow. Maybe they thought that you want to leave the situation. Maybe they thought that there is someone, someone else in the picture. Whatever it might be. There could be that there is, uh, like, you could be coming from different backgrounds and and this is the issue here. Whatever it is, it will be different for all of you. But definitely I feel like this person, they see their happiness with you and, and they, they want to, to fight for it, just like you do, actually. They want to fight for it. Uh, with the nine of ones here, I feel like they're quite tired of it. They're quite tired of this fight. It's probably the situation is going on for some time. Uh, but nevertheless, I feel like they are prepared to persevere because they uh, they see you as the most beautiful, the most charming, the most uh, wonderful person in, in their life. They see you as this Queen of Wands. Let's see what is in this person's intentions and uh, actions, and then I will get you some advice from the universe with regards to this relationship. Let's see, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles, we've seen it already before on this person's side. Right, we have the Emperor. So, in this person's intention, they want to be your Emperor. They want to have this new beginning with you. It, it, it doesn't mean that it's a new person here, right? For some of you, it could be a new person. For the, for the most part, actually, I'm picking up like uh, it is the situation that is already going on for some time. <clears throat> And probably there was some kind of change within the situation, and they want to, uh, they want to basically start over, build a new foundation for all of that, right? And even uh, even when they just think about it, it makes them feel victorious. It makes them feel wonderful. Uh, just the thought of them coming together with you, back together with you, or starting starting from scratch with you, or you know whatever the situation is, they, they really want this with you and with the Empress on your side and the Emperor on their side, we definitely have a divine, divine couple here, right? They, they want to be this Emperor for you. Uh, let's see what actions 
this person is going to take towards areas. I'm, I'm really sorry. I started this video. It was very quiet, and now my neighbors decided to communicate things to each other. I hope you can't hear that. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, we have uh, Judgment, and we have the Page of Wands here. Right. Look at this. With the Magician, Five of Wands and the Three of Cups here on their side, and you have uh, Five of Wands on your side, I see that there is a lot of mirroring here. A lot of mirroring here is going on. Definitely this person is manifesting the second chance with you with the Judgment. Could be dealing with Scorpio and other areas I have here. Right. Um, the thing is that interesting because this whole situation is teaching this person how to be more independent, right? How to stand in their own integrity. And the more they study that, the more they learn to be uh, to be okay even on their own. It doesn't mean that they don't want to be with you. They do. They do. But the more independent they become, the the more the more eager they are to start this this new chapter with you here, right? The more curious they are about it. Uh, they are probably, if they didn't tell you about this yet, they're going to, right? I see the communication coming for those of you who are in no contact with this person. But for the most part, actually, I feel like, uh, I feel like there are conversations between you and this person and you both feel conflicted at times. But I feel like it is going to be resolved, or it's already been resolved. For some of you, you, are, you already are um, trying to resolve the situation between uh, each other. Let's get you the message from the source. We have Chariot, we have the Six of Cups, and we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like, look, for the most part, it is about um, the situation that uh, has been there for a while could be about the marriage, the committed relationship. You know, everything that you have already built with this person together is actually propelling this connection forward, both of you. And with the Knight of Cups, I feel like there is like this energy of a new love coming in, not another person, I mean, the new love between you two, right? I feel like... Uh, I feel like this whole background that you had with this person is actually helping the two of you to resolve whatever it is between you two and come together. And I feel like whatever situation is uh, is going on between you two is actually teaching you a lot of things. Like, like it was actually, uh, it meant to happen, right? Whatever happened here. And it's actually teaching you both, bringing you both to your empowerment here. Right, so uh, yeah, that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this helped, and I hope to see you again. Bye, Aries.